What is going on, y'all? So I wanted to get you a first look at the Snap-on Solus Plus scanner that just came out with. Um, I actually just got this myself. And so I'm going to hook it up to a vehicle as well. So if you want to see how fast it connects and runs through, and I'm going to show you some of the bi-directional controls that it's got and all of that, I'm not going to take too much time. It's not going to be a crazy long video. So I'll try to make it as quick as humanly possible. So if you want to see that, stick around here in just a few minutes. I'm going to go over just a few basic uh, features of the tool, kind of show you that, and then we'll jump on the vehicle. So the Solus Plus that just came out with it, it's kind of their more entry level scanner. Again, it does have bi-directional controls, which is really cool. It is a uh, wired, but honestly, to be as fast as it is, I really think it has to be wired. They do have the light, the LED light at the end of the DLC connector, just in case you need to find the DLC. Um, I've had that happen a few times with a vehicle I'm unfamiliar with, and that has come in handy, so I do like that. Uh, I'm going to show you really fast. Let's, let's see how fast it boots up, as you can see takes about two seconds. It's insanely fast. They have all of their normal uh, information and stuff that they do on most snap-on scan tools. As you can see, they've got your quick lookups for oil specs and resets, tire and wheel service, which is really nice. They've got your previous data. What I like about snap-on's data and such is you connect your vehicle, you set up an Altus Cloud account. So if you're not familiar, you set up that account and it's a cloud through snap-on. It doesn't cost you anything and then you, you uh, register your tool with your Altus Cloud. So when I do pre and post scans, it's actually what I have this scan tool specifically for, is pre and post scans. Uh, so anytime a vehicle comes into the shop with a check engine light, if they, even if they're not uh, asking or interested in fixing the check engine light, I do a pre-scan on that vehicle every time so that way I have the information and I document to protect myself. You should too, I highly recommend that. Um, and so that way it saves it and then it saves that uh, pre-scan up to the Altus cloud. So I always have that information, which is really nice. If I need to email it or send it, I can do that directly from the cloud as well. So if you're not familiar with that, hopefully now you are. Um, like I said, it's got your training and support. So you can, um, this is, you can do your secure gateway. You can share your pre and post scan report, which is really nice. Let's see. Oh, nope, that's just videos. So it does have the videos as well to show you how to do that. And then obviously your scanner. And it is touch screen, just in case anyone's asking. I'm so used to using the buttons, I seem to forget that they're touch screen. So now that we've gone through the basics and the quick stuff, like I said, I didn't want to take up a ton of your time. Let's get connected to the vehicle. Let's show you how fast this thing is. And I apologize, you're gonna be walking around with you a little bit here as I get into the vehicle and get situated. It's hard to, as I'm sure all of you know, I turned on the wipers. <laughs> um, as I'm sure you know, if you've ever recorded content, it is hard to record and do everything with one hand. All right, so we're gonna connect it. So I'm gonna be quiet here so you can hear it and see how fast it is. As you see it connected, that was me just plugging to get into the DLC, automatically turns it on. Now we're connected, it's automatically gonna detect what vehicle. That's how fast it connects, which is super nice. This is an old vehicle too, it's a 2010 CRV. All right, let's go into engine. Let's look at some of the functional tests that it'll do. So we'll load it into functional tests. We'll see what some of the bi-directional controls are. Now, granted, I've already been in here. I did an EVAP test on this vehicle, ran perfectly fine. I had no issues with the EVAP test. It did everything as it was should, which is really cool. And so you have your normal bi-directional controls. Now, obviously, this is going to change per vehicle, uh, per manufacturer. So all of that's going to be different. I've had great success with Snap-on and Honda. They do a lot of stuff on Hondas. That is why I still have Snap-on scanners because I primarily work on Hondas, Acuras, and then I do have some domestics and uh, Toyotas and Lexus, which they do pretty good on Toyota Lexus, and they do great on Ford as well. So overall, I like them. They don't ask you a lot of useless questions either. All right, so we'll go into special function, see what other uh, functions and bi-directional controls we've got. Um, this probably is crankshaft. Yeah, crankshaft, clear, learn, ECM, PCM reset, replace. So you've got all that as well. Uh, what else do we want to check on this? Let's see. We can check our data. 
this is going to be the normal normal data and stuff that you see what i like now is let's see if i can do you can go four graphs on it which i like on the newer software this is on most of the newer software on the scan tools but i still really like that a lot and so we'll go back there trying to think of anything else i want to show y'all while i'm on here let's see if it'll do a mobilizer oh, whoops sorry this is always good to know. One push start. No, it's not. Ignition's on. So let's see if it'll connect and identify the immobilizer system. Typically, if I can get all the way to add a key and stuff, it will normally add a key. It's not 100%. I don't have a key for this vehicle. I just want to know and see uh, because I've had it to where they'll connect and they'll uh, identify and then it won't actually do anything. It'll error out. So cool. All right. Immobilizer type number A. Mobilizer setup. Vehicle's okay. Like I said, okay, cool. So, looks like it will do keys. Um, I will do more videos as time progresses on different vehicles and different uh, bi-directional controls that I'm using for and all of that stuff. So, I will do the best I can, try to get you guys the information as much as possible, as fast as possible, as always. Um... If you have any questions, feel free to ask. If you like this type of content, please subscribe. Thank you all for 50,000 subscribers. What an amazing, amazing deal. You all are amazing for sharing and following and subscribing, all that jazz. I seriously appreciate it. So again, if you have any questions about anything, please feel free to throw them down in the comments. I will do my best to answer them. Thank you all so much. Take it easy.